Are you looking for a way to make your website comply with Europe regulations? Well, there's a deal that's going on right now that's called Trendo. It's an alternative to OneTrust and it's super easy to implement on your website. Now on this video, I will be covering what I like about it and dislike about it. So it's going to be a review. Let's go chop over to my desktop right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today's deal is Trendo. And first thing we're gonna cover is the actual deal to know what you're gonna get or not get. In this case, the deal starts off at $79 for the lifetime deal. So that means that you pay once and you can use it forever. And like I mentioned before, it's a one trust alternative, okay? So let me show you really quickly. Let's go jump over to the actual deal terms. So the license deal tier one, it's $79 and you get access to 300,000 unique visitors per year. And it's gonna be divided in 100,000 visitors per website. So this deal covers three websites. Now it's only unique visitors. That means that if you or someone else revisits the website several times, it's only gonna count as one. So that's a pretty good thing. The downside about this is that there's a lot of websites that go beyond 100,000 views. So for most sites that are pretty popular, well, this deal isn't going to be enough. But for all the other sites that are business sites that don't get a lot of traffic, for example, well, this is a definite deal for you because you won't reach that limit. But in case you plan on reaching it, well, this deal, you'd have to skip it. Now, what happens when you reach 100K on the website? They say you'll still be notified for the cookie consent and all of that, the GDPR, but it won't be using the tracking system, which it's a tracking system that gives you analytics and it'll give you information about the user, which is actually pretty useful, especially if you are in Europe. Another good thing that I see about this is that you can decide if you want the pop-up to only show for Europe. So if someone is viewing the website from Europe, it'll only pop up for them. So that it'll reduce the website views. So another good thing about there. If you need more views, well, you go jump into license tier two or license tier three, which again, it won't scale up the visits per year on each website. It's still 100,000 web 100, websites a year. So just things that you have to consider. Like I mentioned before, if you have if you're almost reaching those views or if you have more, definitely skip on this one, okay? So let's go jump over to my Trendo dashboard. This is my Trendo dashboard and I have the license tier one and I get access to three websites. So let me show you how this is actually going to work. So it's pretty easy to set up. Let me open up my website in incognito mode just to show you how it looks. So I have it installed in my website that's sasm.co. So let's wait for that to load. And there it is, there is my pop-up. Now, cool things about Trendo, okay? And I'm not trying to hype this, I'm just telling you. It's gonna automatically detect what you have installed on your website, so it's gonna add those consents to it. So let me go into options, there we go. That's one of the cool things, it'll add it. Another cool feature is that if this is something that you turn on or off, it'll automatically apply it to the website. Let's just say that I have a YouTube video on this website and you don't want to allow YouTube videos, you turn it off and it's gonna automatically remove it. I'm gonna look for an example for this just to show you how that looks, okay? But in this case, I can accept or deny. I can view what's going on. So for marketing, okay, I am using Google Ads, Facebook Ads, so it's using Facebook Pixel and, face and Google Pixel, that's why it's there. Social consent, so you'd see there's YouTube. So if there's a video in here and I tick this off, it won't view. I'll have to click allow for it to show, all right? I can go into my privacy policy website and I can add this. So just a quick look at that. Let's go back to my license tier. How are you going to add that banner? First thing you're going to do is head on over to banner section here on the left. And you're gonna get the first details, which is the appearance. How do you want it to look? We have, well, they have, Several views, you got floating center, bottom, bottom three buttons, default, bottom slim, that's what I'm using, three button banner and custom. If you wanna customize it, you can do so. Let's go ahead and keep it as it is because I like that view. The customized colors, so let's just say that your branding to your site has nothing to do with blue. Well, we could change it to red, yellow, green, purple, whatever you are using or looks good on your website, okay? Let's go into show the privacy button. Enabled yes, show trend the logo. In this case, I turned it off. If you wanna enable it, let me show you their policy right there. There's a little trend logo on the bottom left. 
it's disabled because I have it disabled on my side, but that's how it's going to look if you have it enabled. The panel slide side. So in this case, if it's a panel, you got left and right option. In case you have a chat or something else going on there, you might have to decide left or right. The actual script that you're going to embed on your site, there's two options to work. If, for, example, for example, if you're on WordPress, you can download, well, yeah, download the plugin and use the site ID. But if you don't want to download the plugin, in my case, I don't want to download it. I'll just embed the script on my website, which is what I did. It's super easy. Just it's going to depend on the theme that you're using or if you want to go into the theme editor and actually add it there. Nothing complex at all. Once you add it, you're done. OK, nothing else to do. We can add the policy links. Well, like you saw on mine, I've added the link. I can add the cookie policy link and the imprint link if I like. Enable privacy policy, activate the built in website privacy policy. I have it enabled. Activate languages. So for example, main language and I've added supported language for Spanish. OK, I can edit this and I can add more if I like. For that, there's the advanced options, for example, the geo settings. This is something I like and dislike. I like that we can turn it on for Europe, which is the country that is really asking for this type of information. But I would like to manually select what type of countries I would like to show or not. For example, I would like to also enable it in United States, but I don't want to enable it for Mexico. Right. So that's, for example, in my country, it's not a requirement. We do need to have the privacy policy, but we don't need to show it in this type of sense. So I don't need to waste a view in this case. The cookie domain I want to enable that there it is. Enter cookie domain. Disable the IABTCF. Um, honestly, I don't know what that is for. Here is a little document for it in case you guys want to read it or search for it on the web. You can enable this if I like. If I enable it, I'll have to choose the vendors and the location. OK, so yeah, I have it disabled. There we go. Those are for the settings. Super easy. Next thing we have are the services on the left. Um, automatically, it's going to add the services that you use, but you can add your own in case you plan to add something later on. So, for example, add a service, you'll get a list of services that will tend to like safe information, cookies and all of that. So you'll search for them here. So if I go for Google, there's all of these. OK, so if I'm using anything like this and I want to add it, I'll just select it and I'll add the information. Um, for example, Facebook, there's these. Um, there's a bunch of them. Um, honestly, whatever you, is tracking, well, you're going to search for it here. YouTube, add new likes, pixel likes, etc. You just add the service and you're going to see it here on the left. So, for example, Facebook ads. In this case, this is what it's going. Cookie details, service name, company name. These are things that I can edit. I don't know why I would edit this, but there's the option. The processing region. The category in the category, we can send set it as which category it falls into or necessary. So that means that they must accept it. OK, the data types, browse attributes, IP address, etc. I can add more data types that we are re requiring. So if you're asking for email, the gender, the IP address and all that, well, you want to add those there. OK, so it's pretty much basic. It's super easy to use. Next thing we have is the consent records. These are people that are visiting my site. So in my case, these are people who have visited the site. Someone from the United Kingdom visited and we're going to get a unique ID. The consent details. So the link to my site, where are they coming from? United Kingdom, the date, the time, and they rejected all of this except the necessary. So they customized what they wanted to view in the other one over here. We got everything enabled and from Mexico. So you get all that information there. So the records for that. Next thing we have is the insights. So here's a quick overview of the analytics of what's been going on from the information Trendo has captured. So 33% have captured all 25% necessary only 42% customized. We get the browsers, language, device, locations and a quick overview over here. OK, so total services, consent, unique users, only four. There you go. You can view this categories or banner interaction and we can go back home. Basically, that is the information for Trendo. I mean, it's super easy. You add it to your website, the script, and you're good to go. Just enable the insights, <clears throat> the services that you want to add, and you're good to go. And like I mentioned before, let me find a here we go documentation really quickly. Just let me show you how the YouTube video is going to look. 
Okay, here is given an example where it's not consenting to social media links and you'll see that you'll have a little box where it says allow. In my case, I don't have on my site YouTube videos and all of that, but if I did, you would see that says a little box where it won't allow un unless you click on allow or you go back into the little corner plugin, the little icon and accept social media. So it will enable the videos and all of that. You can see how it, it enabled it there just by accepting. So in case no one wants to enable it, you can see that there. He has accepted in this demo and that's how it's going to work on your website. Turn it off, accept settings, and there we go, it's gone. Just for people who don't want to view that, they don't consent to getting information to those companies like YouTube, Twitter, etc. But there you go, that is the trend of deal. If you're looking to comply with Europe regulations and you wanna have that little cookie consent um, pop up, well, this deal is good. But if you think the limits are, well, I think they're not good, but if you think your site is going to reach those limits or if you're already surpassing those limits, definitely this deal is not for you. But there you go. If you guys want to grab it, that link will be provided in the description. It's an affiliate link. If you use my link, it gives you a small commission, but it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it already says there. Well, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.